In this video, you and I are gonna go over the three best exercises to grow your chest, how many sets and reps you should do them for, and some variations to make it more challenging for you or just to switch it up and make it a little bit more fun for you. Hey, what's up, it's Ted, welcome back to the channel. So your, your chest is made up of two heads, your clavicular head at the top, and then your sternal head at the middle and lower portion of your chest. I'll throw a picture on the screen right now so you can see rather than me just touching my chest, but I'm gonna refer to it as your upper, mid, and lower chest, right? So the main majority of these exercises are gonna bias your upper chest, but it is for overall chest hypertrophy or chest growth. So exercise number one is gonna be dumbbell incline bench press on a 15 or 30 degree incline. And then the variation for this is gonna be dumbbell incline bench press with an added resistance band. So we'll go over the regular dumbbell first and then hop into the band. But why do I choose dumbbells over barbell? For two reasons. With dumbbells, you're gonna get more range of motion than with a barbell. And number two, you're gonna get a better contraction of your chest with dumbbells rather than barbell. Think about it. When you Go like this, this is how you barbell bench press, right? Your arms just go straight up. When you're using dumbbells, they allow you to adduct your humerus, which is this bone right here, more across your chest, which is gonna create a better contraction and shortening of your chest muscles, which equals more chest hypertrophy or chest growth. All right, to set up the dumbbell incline bench press, you're gonna take a bench and set it to about a 15 degree incline like I have right here, or a 30 degree incline like I have right here. And then you're gonna sit down and kick the dumbbells up using your thighs and then keep your shoulder blades down and back and press up while keeping your elbows about a 45 degree angle away from your body like I am right here. And then when you press up, you should let your shoulder blades protract or come a bit forward when you're pressing so you can get a maximum chest contraction during the exercise. You can try this out right now while you're sitting down. Just press forward while trying to keep your shoulder blades completely down and back and then let them come forward a little bit and you'll feel how much of a difference it makes in this exercise. Now the harder variation that you should definitely give a go to is this banded dumbbell incline bench press. So take the band and put it in your hands right here across both hands and then place it on your shoulder blades. It doesn't have to be in the exact position you're seeing here in this video. It could be a little higher than that or a little lower than that. And then you want it to sit on your arms just under your shoulders. So just under your shoulders on top of your triceps and biceps. And then you can go ahead and pick up the dumbbells from the rack kick them up and do the exact same thing. This is a way harder variation, so you're definitely gonna have to go a little bit lighter, but I promise the contraction and tension you feel during this exercise is gonna be pretty crazy and something that you've never felt before. So definitely give this a go if you want a harder variation to the dumbbell incline bench press. You can hit this exercise at least once a week. You could do a split between the two, right? Do two sets of one and two sets of the other, but I'd recommend choosing one, doing that for a couple months and then just changing it up, but do three to five sets for three to eight reps and rest two to three minutes between each set. Exercise number two is gonna be cable chest flies. These three variations are amazing chest isolation exercises and amazing finishers to do at the end of your chest day or at the end of your upper body day. So you could take these all the way to failure for every set or very close to it and have great recovery still because it is an isolation exercise. It's gonna be putting minimal stress on your joints and your central nervous system so you can recover from it fairly quickly. These exercises also have minimal elbow flexion. So you're gonna be taking your triceps completely out of the movement and just isolating your chest. If you don't like these cable chest fly variations, I'd recommend using the pec deck machine, but I'd recommend staying away from dumbbell chest flies if your main goal is chest growth and chest hypertrophy because at the top of the range of motion when you get to the top with the with, uh, dumbbell flies you lose all tension and with um cable flies or the pec deck machine you never lose tension throughout the entire movement so if you don't like these cable flies do the pec deck machine but stay away from dumbbell flies if your main goal is chest growth all right first up here we have the high to low cable flies this is going to put a little bit of bias on your lower chest and mid chest your, this is definitely going to be the one where you can go the heaviest on so set the cables to around shoulder to head height or higher and then grab the cable handles and take a couple steps forward while keeping your shoulders down and back, bring your arms together. And then just like the dumbbell chest incline press, let your shoulders protract or come a bit forward at the end of the range of motion at the top so you can get maximal contraction on your chest. And then also don't let your elbows be too flexed like this, like a 90 degree angle, but also don't keep them completely straight like that. That's not gonna be the best for your elbows and it's not gonna be the best to overload this exercise, right? So make sure you keep them at a fixed angle but not too bent and not straight. And then to save time, because it's gonna be the same cues, let's go over the mid-level and low to high cable flies in the same video. So it's gonna be the exact same cues, the only difference is gonna be where you set up the cables. So for mid-level, it's gonna be somewhere between your shoulders and belly button height. 
And then for low to high, it's gonna be probably around your hip to around mid shin, somewhere in that range is gonna be best for you. And then it's the exact same cues as the high to low. So go watch that part again if you need to know how to do the exercise or need some cues and tips for how to complete the exercise. But then the last variation, is going to be seated incline high to low cable flies, right? If you don't like doing the regular standing low to high cable flies, you can take a bench, set it on a 15 to 30 degree incline, right in between the cable machine, uh, the cable flies, right? But you wanna set it a, li bit, a little bit forward, right? Right where you would take a couple steps forward while doing standing, that's exactly where you'd want the bench. And then you sit down and it's the exact same um, movement as a dumbbell fly. So for this exercise, you could do this up to two to three times per week for 12 to 20 reps, taking anywhere between 60 to 90 seconds rest. You could even rest a little bit higher than 90 seconds if you want, like up to 120 seconds, that's completely fine. This is a great isolation chest exercise. So now let's hop into the final exercise, exercise number three. So exercise number three is incline machine chest press or just regular machine chest press. Either one that you have access to at your gym that lets you adduct your humerus, right? That lets you bring this bone right here across your chest or not just straight forward like that, a little bit like that. Any machine that lets you do that, that is gonna be the third and final exercise that's best for muscle hypertrophy, right? Because you're probably thinking right now, where the fuck is the barbell bench press? Why is there no bar barbell bench press? It's because the barbell bench press is great for strength. It's good for hypertrophy too, but it's not optimal for hypertrophy. And this is the guide for the best exercises to grow your chest and for chest hypertrophy. So that's why the barbell bench press is not in this guide. And that's why it's these two machine presses. Let's go over to them now and how to complete them. Uh, first up real quick before we hop into the two machines that are good to use, this is the one you would wanna stay away from. The standard chest press machine is the one you would wanna stay away from, or it's just as good as doing a barbell bench press. So I'd recommend instead of using this machine, if this is all you have at your gym, is using the barbell bench press. Because again, look at my arms. They're going straight up and down. It's not letting me adduct my humerus or bringing my humerus bone anywhere near coming closer across my chest. So you're not gonna wanna use this one if this is the only one you have access to. These two right here, right? This is the regular chest press machine that lets me adduct my humerus bone. And this is the incline chest press that lets me adduct my humerus bone. If you have either of these, these are gonna be the third best exercise that you could use. So it's pretty straightforward. You just sit down, load it with an adequate amount of weight that has you reaching failure or close to failure in the eight to 12 rep range and then just push the machine forward. Again, keeping your shoulder blades down and back, but letting them protract or come forward at the end or at the top of the movement. You can do this anywhere from one to two times per week, doing eight to 12 reps and resting anywhere from one to three minutes between each set. If you found value in this video, please hit the like button and comment something down below. Comment what muscle group you wanna see next. Next week, I think I'm gonna either start back, back is gonna definitely be a two-part series, or start glutes. If you wanna see that, head over to my Instagram. I'm gonna put a poll up today that you could vote on and vote for what comes next week. Also, make sure to subscribe if you're not already, and I'll talk to you soon.